I met some cool motherfuckers on a one night stand. When it's like being an artist, um, you see, like I know that like like I entertain and stuff like that, but I don't like think of artists just like solely off like doing music or anything like that. I feel like an artist can be like a person who's a designer, a person who make art, a person who like express themselves in certain ways like that. So yeah, like um, I do call myself an artist, but like you know, extended an extended artist. You feel me? Because I do like um make clothes and all that stuff like that and. Yeah, I just feel like it's more ways to it and not just like just solely trying to produce music and now I'm an artist, you know. That's just how I feel about that. And um I don't know, I just feel like you know, I came a long way. It's all about the progress and whatever you got going on. So yeah, um I've been working working on myself for a minute now and I feel like the more I grow, the more I just become more within myself and stuff like that. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much what started it. And, you know, sometimes you need those hardship days when you just, like, you you just going through a lot. You know, it's, it, it sucks that you have to go through stuff to understand and learn lessons and to grow and be a better person. But it helps, though, in a way. It do helps. So... Yeah, like those moments, those days molded me into the person I am today. And that's what helped me be more aware of my surroundings, the things I got going on, what I want to make out of myself, you know, from either my own experiences or experiences that I was in that wasn't solely like about me, but instead of impact, impacted me because I was there. You know, it'd be stuff like that, like stuff that you just really just go through and then you just, you know, find ways to express yourself, ways to you know, help other people because, you know, I feel we all will basically go through the same things. If not the same exact things, it's like similar or diff in a different way. And everybody got their own viewpoint of how they see stuff. So some stuff, some people might not really relate to and some stuff others might. So with, with myself, um, I feel like a lot of stuff that I've been doing that I've seen within my, like within my environment and stuff like that, help me become more like cautious of certain stuff and you know i read a lot of books so majority of my sense of humor came from books as well so as i was reading and experiencing these same things that i was reading it was just like wow like this is like really reality like people saying these is fiction books but this is really going this is what's really going on with people's lives you feel me and that's why i really like urban fictions because it's like you feel me it's like stuff that people actually go to i like reading other people reality jumping into other people realities just, just to see like stuff that similar that's similar to what i be going through so like that's what helped me and that's what molded me to see things on a bigger scale and then as i like progress and grew throughout my journey and it's like i saw those within myself and within the people around me as well together and i was gone now he hell been blowing up my phone got niggas in bitches capping in my own how they could put me on you'd be surprised on what goes on and this only a fantasy it's some good and dating niggas and bitches i understand it all clearly they be like newbie you so unmatched newbie where you been at and you know so much stuff you can get caught up in and like you know like i'm not really addicted to anything and like stuff be slight. Like if I drink wine or something, it's like it's probably like for a celebration or it's not like over big. And then and then I like used to smoke, but I really don't smoke now. It's not really a problem, but I it's just like I don't have to. You feel me? If I wanna stop, I can. If I wanna start, I can. You know, it's just not a it's not like something that I have to have to progress and get going through my day. Cause some people they gotta smoke before they eat, they gotta smoke after they eat, they gotta smoke before they do something. And I'm just not that type. And you feel me? Like, I just been around a lot of stuff. And, you know, a few bonds broke off simple stuff like that. You feel me? Like, simple stuff like that. So, as I seen that within my own people around me, that shit, it kind of stuck with me. Because it's like, damn, like, somebody my age is going through stuff that you see, like, on TV and movies and stuff. Like, you know, like drugs it do be taken over in a way you feel me like people like mindsets and stuff like that but to experience that with somebody your age and that's just like wow you know like i read this in books you know and now it's like this is actually happening you feel me like i came across crazy people in books i mean in books right and then this is actually happened so 
like that kind of stuff it really do sticks with you and stuff so that's basically like helped me become like myself like you you can even like not come in situations blindsided because of the simple fact what i already know so when i do come across somebody they probably feel like oh like i come off like i know like i dress like exotic sometimes but when i'm in my regular clothing i come off like i'm either innocent don't do much and you know always to myself and stuff and which i am in a way i'm not innocent but it's like i'm always to myself and i be chilling so when people see that they automatically think like oh she don't she don't know about this she don't know about that and it's just like you know like you can't judge a book by its cover you feel me like you can't just automatically look at me and tell like oh i ain't been through this and i don't know about this and i don't know about that i just learned how to not speak on certain stuff that's not like i don't like have any experience with it you feel me like so when stuff like that had happened in my life personally that was just like you know an eye opener for me and that helped me be more cautious so yeah like it helped it, it really did mold me to be the person that i am today and you know i really wanted to get into poetry and start writing poems and stuff like that but you i still do it but it's like so hard to get into you feel me without me trying to be like too stuck in my head or you know trying to make something rhyme so much you feel me like i don't know when it come to poems and it's you know like i was into poems i was into like um writing my own stuff you know i had like a old rap a long time ago <laughs> it was called hella bands hella bricks it was so crazy i had it on my old page and i tried to see if it was on there but i couldn't find it you know i got like um disabled from a few of my old pages but i was watching it and i was like felt like i was sounding crazy you know and then i had made this other rap with my friends um when i was staying in chicago and stuff and we used to go around they used to tell everybody like oh michelle she she know how to rap she know how to rap they be like you know switch song so i spit the same song like over and over <laughs> and then you know like it was a decent song but it was just like i don't know it wasn't nothing major but it was just fun and then when i was like throughout my like progress of my life i ended up like going to church by myself and this was like a church with like all kids and all we did was like talent shows and stuff and we used to go around selling candy and having people buy tickets and stuff so we can dance and sing and stuff in front of them so you know i used to make this song make songs and stuff with my friends in the church and stuff and we used to rap and like i used to rap my verse and she used to sing her chorus and stuff like that and we used to just make stuff and it, it just used to be fun to do you feel me and it was a, like another way to you know engage and still be in a mix at the same time so that's what that was and then after that i just like took a break from like all that and then I don't know, like, I just started trying to get more into my goals. And then I started trying to want to do, like, photography and stuff like that. And that's when I bought my own camera. And then I started feeling like, you know what? Well, I can't be, like, you know, in front of the camera instead of behind the camera. You feel me? Like, you know, I could be in front of the camera, too. And that's what made me start wanting to get into YouTube, make my own short story films and stuff. You feel me? Like, because I feel like, you know, like, okay, I could be in front of the camera. Like, even though I was shy, but these was, like, things I was thinking. So, when I was in Milwaukee, like, that was the goal, like, to uh, make films and short stories and stuff like that. Like, I used to watch a lot of LB LGBT short stories and stuff on TV and, I mean, on YouTube. And I used to be like, well, I want to plan those. I want to make my own and stuff like that. And that just, like, always used to have, that, that was the passion for me, even doing YouTube in the first place. Like, to make my own short stories. So, I had made this, um this little script called women women choices and stuff like that and then you know like <laughs> out of nowhere like as i made it it was so raw like i had every person every character in that it was like real like lit i felt like my stuff really really would have blew up and stuff like that but then some situations in my life happened and my stuff ended up getting thrown away you feel me i ain't even had a, a whole producer i don't even know how to I don't even know how to say her name. I mean, say what type of person she was. I forgot. But she was even trying to kept trying to convince me to keep convince me to let her see the whole the whole script and stuff like that. And I was like contemplating like, nah, I ain't gonna get her myself. 
But either way it goes, some still happen, and then my stuff ended up getting thrown away, and I tried to make a whole new one. And then I was just like, dang, you know, like, a whole bunch of talent went to waste. But then I just made another one, like, you know, just keep it going, you feel me? After that, I just started making more and more and more, and putting it in different stuff, and writing it online and stuff like that, just in case if I lose it, I'll still have it. So, that's just what that was, and... From there, I just grew to be goal oriented. I just wanted to do a lot of stuff that I never did, you know, growing up in a small town, not being aware, moving from across the street to upstairs and, you know, down the block and all that. It's still in the same area. So, you know, I just never really did much besides, like, probably like I was dancing, like, when I was in high school and stuff, like, on dance teams. And then I, I danced at this one park. And, you know, we paid a dollar to the sign the form and stuff like that. And they used to let us dance in there, me and my friends. And, you know, that's when I was doing that. So, you know, I don't know. I think my passion at first, it was like all dance. I just wanted to learn every dance and be good at it. Because at the time, I just felt like I wasn't. And other people made me feel like I wasn't. So, that's why I wanted to do it. And then, I don't know. Yeah, it just branched off into all that other stuff. And it's still, like, the same. Like, it's still, like, aligned to each other. Like, uh, the music, the dancing, the art, and all that. The films and stuff like that. It's still, like... You know, it still connects with each other. So even if when I did stop and I'm starting back, it's still like the same. You know, like it's still like, even though I felt like I was lost back then, I'm still found, but I'm better and I'm still doing the same thing. You know, so yeah, maybe it was like all destiny for me to even, you know, go down this lane in the first place. So yeah, I'm really happy that I even chose to step outside my comfort zone and think outside the box to be a better person because you know I don't even know where I would be right now probably I probably would still be dancing who knows but you know I'm glad that I took the route that I did because you know my mind wasn't really right and stuff like that and I could have got lost in this shit just like anybody else have you know so you know it's so many times that so many places, so many people who, like, just come into your life and be so distracting. And then, you know, like, you can really lose focus. But the fact that I was, like, so committed to myself and what I wanted and no matter where I was at, no matter who I was around, I was still dedicated to me and my, what I wanted. And I still acted accordingly. You know, even if I was acting like an ass or wild sometimes, I was still acting accordingly. Like, I never, like, did too much or overdid myself. Or if I felt like I shouldn't have went nowhere, I didn't go nowhere. You feel me? Like... I stuck to myself and I, I stayed listening to my intuition and that got me more farther than, you know, where I've been, you know, like to where I'm at now. And I just know like from here, I'm just going to keep growing. And that's what it's really all about. You know, just listening to yourself, being dedicated to yourself. You feel me? Like even if you do got people that support you and that love you, that, that want to see you win and stuff, you got to still see that in yourself or you ain't going to get as far as you want to be. You feel me? Like everybody could be like, do this, do that, do this, do that. But if you don't want to do it, you ain't going to do it, you know? Like, it ain't going to get you really far if you don't, you're not really dedicated to doing it yourself. So, yeah, that's just what it was for me. And, yeah, now I'm just ready to, like, I want to travel more. I want to, like, get into more activities that I never did when I was younger just to do it. Even if other people did it and be like, that's nothing. You feel me? It's still going to feel like something to me because I haven't did it, you know? Like, my experience was not that experience. So, you know, I'm pretty sure my experience is going to be different from other people's experiences because I never experienced that myself. So once I do it, it's just going to be like, yeah, you know, like I did that. You feel me? And I'm going to be happy that I did it because, you know, I haven't done it. So, yeah. That's just how I look at stuff and how I want to see stuff. And I do want to try, like, different food and stuff, too. You feel me? But, um, uh, I don't really eat, like, pork. I don't eat, like, beef and stuff like that. I eat chicken. Probably chicken and seafood is, like, the only meat I eat. Every other meat like that I don't really eat. So, it's kind of going to be hard for me to still do it. But I'm going to have to, like, find the right stores to, like, eat the stuff that I eat. So, that's different, though, in a way. Like, it's different, but I still eat it. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much it. That's all I really have to say. <laughs> and, yeah. Let's go. Don't this shit make a nigga want to jump, jump. Don't this shit make a nigga want to.